What is up everybody, this is Charisma, in this video we're going to talk about the most expensive gun in Roblox Rivals, and if you should potentially buy it or not. So without further ado, please uh, hit the like, subscribe, I have a Discord server, join through the link in the description of this video, and let's get into it. So, if you come over here, we have a whole list of weapons and such, and the yellow ones are the ones that tend to be the more ones that people call pay the win, the more expensive ones, so to speak. And if you come over here to the minigun, it's, you know, it's 450 keys, the most expensive item you can get. And you would think in your mind, if that's the most expensive item, it's probably going to be one of the most powerful ones. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it is, from a competitive standpoint, from like doing well standpoint, it's just not good. It's not good at all. And I'm going to show you just in the games and such. And when I play these games, I, I could dominate with the gun, but like I'm going to explain to you just along the way when I'm playing the game that it's just like, it's not really the most worth it. Because when you go against good people and such... Um, it's just really hard to do well with it because good people can just really outmaneuver it. Um, when you're using the minigun and such, you're slower and, and all that. So let's see if we can get into a match. Okay, so we got the minigun. We're going to bring out the Uzi, Scythe, and then just put on make it. Boom. Okay. So it takes about a second to load up. So when you start, you know, left clicking on your mouse or right triggering your controller, it doesn't shoot right away. It makes sense it's a minigun. Typically in games when you play with the minigun, it takes a little bit. But, like, it does some nice, like, like 8 damage per hit. And you can just spray all 200 bullets. But it makes you a target. See how I'm already getting, like, just shot at? It makes you a big target. Um, people think that the minigun is terrifying. So, like, 72. Okay, so we're going to try to press up. Oh, crap. Come on. You see how he like pressed me and I didn't have time to like get it rolling again. That's another reason why it's just this gun is not worth it in terms of like if you really want a weapon that's really good the game. Now if you just want to like try to meme on people or like you know you just want to just to have it and try it out like go for it like but in terms of using it it's definitely not the most optimal. And part of me wants to make this video to just kind of show you what it's like because it is an expensive item. Not everyone's willing to pay like a lot of robux for it and such. And I just don't want people to necessarily get their hopes up and think that the minigun's like super good. And then it's just trash, you know? Expectations. See, it's hard because people will start like moving around. And there's like a... See how I just like... Like I got one kill, but like all someone has to do is just like move. And then I have to like let go of the trigger. And then he can pop out and just get some shots on me. So, like, if someone has a minigun on the enemy, you can just kind of, like, you know, if he starts, you hear him rolling up, just hide. And then if he lets go, pop out, shoot him again, and then hide again. And it's, like, really annoying to, to um, you know, as a minigun user. But, like, it's really good for, like, getting, like, chip shots. Like, little, like, 30 damage here, 40 damage here. But it's not necessarily good just for, like, finishing people off. A little six, 16 damage here. Boom. Boom. Got a nice one right there. Okay, so I'm still not doing too bad. You know, I'm at like 424 damage and such. And these people aren't really like that good. Um, I can just tell by... I've played enough games. I'm just level 100 when like a team's like really good. So a nice little 36 damage. Another thing that's really annoying is if you go against people with katanas... And you don't expect... Yep, like that guy. 16. 24. So it's, like, good for, like, just quick little chip damage. But, yeah. And so far, I'm... 500 damage. I'm, like... I'm contributing to my teammates. I have 7 assists. You get a lot of assists when you use the minigun. Um, okay, let's see. But, like, this map, like, it's, like... There's not really a lot of nice place to hide. Nice... 12 headshot. See how he can like just kind of hide it. Boom. And I still haven't killed him. And boom, finish him off. Where is he at? We got the win. So you can see right here, I went three and two with seven assists, like middle of the pack with it. 
Um, and it, those were against people that weren't really good. Those people were not really good at all. Like, those are just your typical average players that you go against. Um, I had one match I was recording earlier, and I just didn't put it in because I just, like, I went against a super tryhard team, and I just, like, like, I want to show it, but didn't, did not want to show it because I got stomped, but I also wanted to show it because, like, it just really showed just how, just how, like, um, you know, bad it is against tryhard people. Okay. And it just depends what your expectations are. Um, what I might try to do is try the, try the, yeah. Might try to build a wall and then kind of hide it and use it as like a... Let's see, let's try this. Nice little 56. Got right there. Okay. Yeah, I just like... It. Did pretty good, like 400 damage. Like, when you get like an, you know, when you get like an average group of people, you can still have fun with it. You can still do good. You can still contribute to your team. Like, there's definitely no, no issues there. Okay, if that guy, if you find someone that's just like not doing anything. Oh, I don't have my size. Okay, he's dead. See, that guy was just using a knife, so he wasn't really playing like a tryhard. He was just trying to meme around. If you get players who just average or meme around, like, you're chilling. You can, you can still good and contribute. Oh, crap. That's not good. Need to heal. I don't know. See, if this guy just stand there doing nothing, yeah, you can just kind of evaporate people. And see if you get people like that. You see, like, when you get, like, <laughs> not the best people who are just kind of doing nothing, you're just like, yeah, you can do well, but <laughs> when you get super tryhard people who are strategic and, like, are in groups of people and, like, <laughs> very structured and, sh yeah, you just, the minigun. Just trust me, if you want a super tryhard weapon, if you want to like, hey, I want to do good in um, rank, don't, 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 don't buy the minigun for that reason. Look at that, three people already left. So, okay, let's see if I, I want to rush in. Another thing with this weapon is like, it's kind of hard to rush in with, like you can, you can do it. He just brought the katana. He's dead. Boom. There's only like two people. Top of the leaderboard. Boom, boom. There we go. You know, I'll try to play like one more and see if we can get some more, some more footage and such. Okay, yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try like construction because when you play certain maps, you don't want maps like docks. Docks, really bad for minigun if people have snipers. Same probably for shooting range. Um. So we got construction, good. Boom. Put that on scythe. And we'll put on Molotov. We'll just be like really, really annoying. Now, see, these are some high level people. We got someone on our team. It's gonna be interesting. This guy, there might be someone that rushes up. Someone like, see, kind of step back. Boom. Boom, dead. Boom, okay, just melted them. 2 0, got one assist. Got kind of ticked in the beginning because when I was firing up my gun or, or my 3D Molotov, kind of let me a little vulnerable. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump up. We're going to throw that and kind of just kind of play back a little bit. Oh, wow, they both had katanas. That's annoying. So you can just kind of boom. 
I don't know where the last guys went. Might be hiding. Yeah. Boom. It was, a, it was a good try. Good try. So yeah, they both had katanas right there, and I couldn't really see because like when the minigun's like bursting, and just they were having white skins. It just I took like some hefty damage from it. So we're just gonna. Nope. So I gotta be careful. I gotta listen for that katana sound. Okay, there's three of them left. Yep, see, I got taken out. When I, like, press up on me and such, or a sniper catches me off guard. That's a cool sight. Oh, he just run in there. Okay. Oh, oh. That dude almost died. Okay. Oh gosh, yeah, he's dead. Okay. So I'll try it for like another round. No, actually, I'll just show you guys now. I'll try a different weapon and see. And like three rounds, I've averaged like 500. I want to try a different weapon. Crap, 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 crap. I knew they were going to do that. I'm about to die, I'm about to die. Got some nice tick damage right there. Boom. Okay. Oh, that one's got me. So what I'm going to do this time is put on this, 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 and then put on make it. And then they might try to throw over there. Hate this. Freaking disco, stupid. Hundred and eight damage. Boom, look at that. So in just like two rounds, I've already like doubled my score just from using different weapons in the minigun. And I'm playing against the same people and such. It's just, yeah, it's going against using uh, just like a burst or something. Gotta be careful of the stupid blind spot. Oh my gosh, I hate that. I'm pressing. Boom. So yeah, to, to conclude from that last match, um, I did roughly around the same amount of damage when I used the minigun versus not using the minigun, but I was relying a lot more on using the Molotov, my utility to do damage and such. If you were using the minigun, just the minigun and like a Uzi or something versus a burst and an Uzi, I would say nine times out of ten, um, you would probably have on average, if you average 500 damage a game with the minigun, let's just say, uh, I'm going to say you're going to probably be in a 7-800 on average with the burst. If you're averaging like a 1,000, you know, for per game with the minigun, if you're just that good, probably with the burst, you're probably going to average like 1,500, you know. Um, so I think there's just definitely, a, you can have a higher, you know, more damage, more kills. And some of the reasons with the minigun and such, why it's just not optimal, yeah, it makes you slower. So you're holding this big thing. It makes you slower. It just makes you more prone to people who are really good with, like, snipers. Or just, like, if you met someone with a mobile player who has that time to strength now with the new update. And they're just, like, they'll will literally just melt you with the AR as you're just sitting there. They're going to do more damage just in a quick succession with that 20 bullets in that clip versus you and your minigun. You probably are not going to win. You're probably definitely going to lose. Um, when people are kind of... A lot of maps are not optimal. If you're kind of... Like, if you see someone, they hide around the corner... And then they can pop out with either with a katana or just wait for you to like let go of your barrel to stop shooting. And then they'll just like come out and start like lighting you up. Um, and then when you're shooting, it's like there's like a big bright light around it. And it's just kind of hard to see as on certain maps, depending on the people's um, uh, character 
uh, color and all that. So just like overall, it's just I do not recommend getting it for competitive use. I, I do not. So if you guys like this video, give me guys your input. I can do more videos and you all have a good one.